it's becoming an all too familiar scene for DTE Energy. Crews are back out trying to restore power to thousands of Metro Detroiters. Jacqueline Francis is live in Wayne County with DTE's message to customers that are already frustrated. Jacqueline. Hi, Pam and Will. As you can see, we're out here in Livonia, where some people just lost power a few hours ago, surprisingly. And you can also see behind me, those traffic lights are out, slowing things down a little bit there. So, of course, the big question is, when are the lights going to come back on? And DTE says for 95% of its customers, that's Monday night. This morning, DTE Electric President Trevor Lauer was live on our air giving an update on this latest round of outages. We'll also have damage assessment teams out in the field trying to understand the level of damage and how we get everybody back as quickly as we can. By three this afternoon, another update came in. DTE reporting 91% of its 2.3 million customers have power. The company estimates that 95% of customers will be restored by Monday evening. We understand who's out of power because of our AMI meters or our automated meters. Um, so. We understand who's out. We're going to dispatch crews to it. And our job is to get everybody's power back as quickly as we can, but also as safely as we can. They know you're frustrated. I've heard from multiple customers that lost power. We got it back two or three days ago, and they're out of power again. Uh, and we understand how frustrating that is. And it's not the customer experience that we want for our customers. But they are asking for people to treat their crews with kindness. The same crews that have been working around the clock for 10 plus days to turn the lights back on. Here are some important safety tips from DTE. Stay 25 feet away from downed wires. Call to report those wires at 1-800-477-4747. Wires behind yellow tape may still be live and never use portable generators inside. Re reporting live in Livonia tonight, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. All right, Jacqueline, thank you.